So in a, in a, in a personal level, uh, I wanted to, to, to apply and transfer all the knowledge that I got during my PhD and my, my thesis uh, to develop new, new therapies for and meet uh, medical needs, having a meaningful uh, contribution to the society. So on the professional level, as you know, for me to be an entrepreneur was a challenge because everything was new, but that, uh, that allowed me to, to grow, learning a lot of different new things. So at some point where, while I was doing my, my postdoc with another co-founder, we realized that the technology that we have developed through our research, uh, we can apply to, to develop new and better biological drugs. So that made us to decide to turn that idea into a business project. So, as I said, I mean, we, 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 this, I mean, we realized that we had a technology that can be applied to develop new drugs. So, and we realized that the best way to, to bring these ideas to the society was to creating a company. So, when we start the first years was basically uh, validating technologically and commercially our ideas. But then in 2019, we, we, we decided to move to gene therapy field because we thought that in this field we can contribute and our technology can have a huge impact uh, on developing new drugs uh, to treat uh, diseases that were not possible treated with other approaches. So our, our team has changed and grown significantly over time. For example, in 2022 alone, we doubled in size uh, going from nine uh, full-time employees to almost 20. So what we did was basically identify our needs and our objectives and then look for the best candidate to fill this uh, role uh, across the organization. So to do that, we have used our own uh, network and also some recruiting companies that help us to find the best candidate for a specific uh, role. So one of the most uh, important strategic uh, decisions that we took in the last years uh, was to, to focus our company in the gene therapy. So at the beginning we were focused more in the base uh, protein therapeutic drugs and at some point we realized that in gene therapy we can have a huge impact uh, solving some limitations about the current uh, gene therapy uh, approaches. So I think one of the uh, most important things is when you start a, com a, 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 a company, it's important that you are personally passionate about that uh, and not just a big uh, business idea because, you know, you have to fight every day and if you are passionate about that, uh, in the hard times, it's less likely that you will give up. So I think it's, it's because you care about that. I think you should have a diverse uh, team uh, and the best that, you know, the, try to find the best candidate that you can hire. I think this is a big asset in a startup to have a very diverse team that everyone contribute with their knowledge to the company. One of the things that I learned is to, to, to have time for, to help others because at the beginning I was more focused on what I have to do uh, and my task. And then I realized that it's good to have uh, time to help others because then you can build a better, a better team for your company. So another thing that uh, I, I learned is like, uh, there are companies that only celebrate the big, big, uh, the big uh, accomplishment, but I think it's, it's good to, to, to define or to, to identify a small victories because if you celebrate these big, small victories, then it can boost the morale and give you a huge energy for the next steps. And of course, and another thing that I learned is like everything take a lot of uh, a longer time than expected. So you should get realistic about the, the timelines. So I think it's important to start talking with investors from the very beginning, although knowing that you are not going to get invested by them at that point. But I think it's, it's, it's important and help start to, to uh, build the, this relationship 
to understand what they need to see to have a yes later on. I mean, I'm not gonna specify deadlines because of uh, confidential and reason, but our key milestones in the, in the next years is to, to complete the development process for our candidates.